Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Try the Westport Independent. I have only just saw this on Steam and I decided to pick it up and do a Let's Try of it so I have not even tested the game for this Let's Try and I figured I would dive in blind as it was giving me sort of Papers Please vibes or rather Lucas Pope's other game that he has available on the web I think it is, The Republic of Times. I know I played around with that a little bit. Um, I would say actually it's has probably a little bit more in common with The Republic of Times than Papers Please. Um, off the top of my head, I don't remember who the devs of this game are, however, I will have the details showing on the video just now, actually, if I remember to put text overlaid, letting you know how much it cost on Steam. I believe it was $6.99 on Steam. The reviews that I've seen are mixed, a lot of people saying it's a short game and not worth the price, however, I decided to just go for it and try it out. It has themes of censorship, this game, I believe, but other than that, I don't know much about it. So we have our settings here, which... You know, it's a very basic game, so these settings are more or less all you need. And we will start the game. It's October 19... October 14th, 1948. Uh, slot zero. That's fine. Your game will be serve saved, not served, automatically between each week. Okie doke. This is a work of fiction. Names, characters, groups, businesses, places, events, and incidents are either the products of the author's imagination or used in a fictitious manner. Any resemblance to actual persons, living or dead, or actual events, or groups, or places is purely coincidental. So your standard disclaimer there for games like this. The following is an instructional film about the public culture bill for all independent newspapers in Westport. Throughout this film, we'll answer various questions you may have regarding both preparations for the bill and the bill itself. What is the Public Culture Bill? The Public Culture Bill is a new bill that will come into force May 16, 1949 and has been created to improve the quality of independent media outlets. The bill contains seven guidelines for independent media outlets to follow that will make it easier to create media products of utmost quality. In order to make sure that everyone follows these guidelines, the bill will create a government-driven union called the Loyalist News and Media Association that will be mandatory for independent media outlets to join. What's your responsibility until the bill comes into force? Introducing a new bill takes time. Therefore, until the Loyalist News and Media Association is properly set up and the bill has come into force, the Loyalist government has created temporary guidelines for you to follow. Do not print deceitful content that may harm the appearance of our country. Do not print deceitful content that may harm the appearance of the Loyalist government. Do not print deceitful content that may harm the appearance of the president. And do not print deceitful content that may glorify the acts of rebels or other criminals. Do print content that strengthens loyalty towards the government. Do print content that inspires morality in the public. And finally, do print content that heartens propriety in our society. The Loyalist government expects your cooperation in this matter and hopes you understand the consequences of disobedience and or affiliation with disloyal members of the public. How do I remove the improper content from my paper? First, drag an article to your desk. Second, read through the articles and look for fallacies. Third, cross over paragraphs that do not fit with the government guidelines. Fourth, give your articles to journalists so that they can transcribe it. Make sure that you only give them an article you have fully edited, as mistakes can be quite devastating. That is all for this instructional tip. Remember that the guidelines presented during this film are for media outlets in Westport only and is not to be shared with the public. The Westport Independent. So, as we have found out, we are in charge of a newspaper. We have 12 weeks left until the public culture bill comes into force. We've got mail. Okay, so as we've just found out, we are in charge of a newspaper and our government is the loyalist government and they've put these guidelines in place that we must essentially only publish things that make them look good. If not, serious consequences could happen to us. This is where the Papers Please vibe comes in. 
Now, I believe we get to choose whether we want to piss off the government or go along with what the government says. Uh, I'm going to go along with what the government says and see what happens from here. So let's see. You've got mail. Okay, I want to look at it. Okay, so we click and drag it down. Dear editor, Phil has been putting up more loyalist propaganda in the office. You know, I can't stand this shit, so I decided to pull it down. It should be on your desk together with this note, Frank. Uh, one criticism is I'm actually struggling to properly read this text when I have it on full screen mode. Or rather, full 1920 by 1080 however, I'm able to read it a little bit better if I look at my recording monitor here because it is on a smaller screen. Uh, so, Frank has pulled down the loyalist propaganda in the office. Phil's been putting it up. So here we have loyalty, morality, and propriety. These are the basis of a civilized society. Ooh, right. So tutorial article censoring. One of the game's main mechanics is censoring articles. You do this by clicking in paragraphs that seem inappropriate. Go like this and it crosses it out. When censored, that content won't be shown to the public and will affect neither their opinion nor the government's suspicion of you. You can also change the headline by clicking on it. Different headlines can change a portrayal of an article. So, welcome to the extraordinary and amazing soon to be Game of the Year winner, the Westport Independent! So there, we've learned a few basics of that. Um, now, I'm trying to see what that says. Denied articles, okay. Yeah, I'm having to look at my recording monitor to properly see what's happening here. Now, as you can see, uh, we've got people's opinion. It looks as if we are more in line, I think maybe the icon means with the loyalists, I guess. I don't know, we'll find out. We also have our employees here. We have Julie. Julie is known for having doubtful opinions of the government. She went to community college. She worked aboard a freelance writer. She worked aboard a freelance writer? I mean, that's kind of personal. Uh, well-being. She's, you know, mid-level comfort. Her, yes, okay, so we can find out there what those icon icons mean. She leans more towards the rebels. And the loyalists don't particularly suspect her of anything, so she is trusted. Phil, however, is a loyalist supporter. He lives in the Western Districts. He lives with his disabled brother, and he went to private college. He is, again, mid-level comfort. He leans towards the loyalists, and he has no suspicion at all, I think. So I guess that would mean he is super trusted. Um, Frank lives alone. He has no college education. He lives by the Eastern factories. He opposed the loyalists before they came into power. So he leans a little bit more heavily towards the rebels and he has some suspicion against them by the loyalists. And he is again of mid-level comfort. And is a, oh, hang. Yeah, my desk is messy. I need to tidy it up. Hitting things on it. And as a parent, she lives by the Eastern Factory. She is married and went to community college. She is a mid-level comfort. She has some loyalist tendencies and is not suspected by the loyalists at all. So she is trusted by them. Alrighty. So I guess let's look at the tutorial article for employees. But we went through this. When you have censored an article, it needs to be transcribed. To do this, put it in one of the named folders to the bottom right so we can give an article to an employee to edit for us. The employees all have different opinions and they'll be discussing how you run your paper. They also have their lives to protect, so don't blame them if they don't wish to follow you into death. Okie doke. So we wouldn't give a more um, critical article about the government to Philip for instance, or Phil, rather, given his proper name. So, loyalist government pursues harsher actions against suspected rebels. A new reform is passed that will hasten the arrests of rebel supporters. The reform consists of exceptions in various privacy laws allowing police to expedite search warrants. Most of these exceptions apply to the ex-criminals with relations to the rebels. However, some exceptions also apply to civilians who have expressed disloyal opinions against the government. So if we want to be on side with the government, we'll change this to... I guess we would keep it against suspected rebels, but I would I would cross out this because that could make the people trust us less. Uh, we want them to enjoy the government. Um, so we would cross out that they are uh, making exceptions to civilians who've expressed disloyal opinions and keep it to that they are just... Mm, 
yeah, to ex-criminals, I would think. And then we would give this to, say, Phil. No. Maybe... Someone that's maybe not as leaning towards loyalists. I would say give it to Anne. Um, the public culture bill has been passed. The public culture bill that the government presented last year has today been passed. The purpose of the new bill is to stop the creation and distribution of incorrect and improper content. It will force independent media outlets to either shut down or join a new government funded union called the Loyalist News and Media Association. Or we can change it to New Bill has been passed forces independent media outlets to shut down. Now, we were told not to say anything about this bill, I believe, right? I think we'll publish this, but again, mm, hold on, we can send to print. Okay, you know what? Let's put this back down here. I don't know, I don't know whether we should, I don't know whether either of these things are ones we want to publish. You know what, we'll give it a try and we'll see how this works. So we'll send to print. You haven't given every employee an article to write this week. This will affect the content of your paper, which in turn will affect how many papers you sell. Are you sure you wish to send these articles to print? Well, we have no more article ideas, so yes. Frank, you know, I've never been a big fan of the Loyalist government, but the public culture bill is even worse than I expected. Phil. Don't blame it on the government. Blame it on yellow journalism, the blatant lies that some newspapers post these days. There's nothing good about a misinformed public. Right. Oh yeah, sure, but do you realise how much power the government will have over the media with this? Julie. I agree with Frank on this one. I can't see how the public culture bill would be beneficial for anyone but the government. And Well, media outlets like ourselves have a scary amount of power over people's opinions. But on the other hand, I don't think that's giving that... I don't think that giving the power to the government is a great idea either. So now we're on week one. So there's 11 weeks until the public culture bill comes into force. So we're not, you know, having to censor things just yet. Um, our popularity has went up with the Western districts, particularly with the Eastern factories and the Southern docks. However, not so much with the Northern suburbs. So we did make quite a few sales at the Southern Docks. The light bar illustrates how many of these pap how many of those papers that were sold. The more you sell, the more popular you get. The more popular you get, the more papers you can distribute. People's opinion will affect your sales as well. Likewise, a well-selling paper will also affect people's opinion. So mostly all loyalist opinions so far. Righty ho. So people's political opinion, plus three to loyalists. Loyalist suspicion of you has went down by 15 and your paper's total popularity has went up by 19. We've got mail. There is nothing more heartbreaking than a misguided public. In a world controlled by the media, the loyalist government will stop at nothing to protect the people from frivolous lies and irresponsible gossip. The public culture bill is for your protection. Um, we'll leave that on our desk just now. Same employees as ever. Yep. Yeah, okay. I was seeing if any of the stats had changed. Now we have more here. So we have local factory hires scabs, bomb disrupts rally, new bill to make sure cinemas show proper material, movie star and minor car accident, uh, Romaval Industries moves branch headquarters to Westport, man attacks police officer. Loyalist governments new strategies to improve education at public colleges as well if we want to impress the loyalists. We want to have this. The Loyalist government has proposed new regulations to improve the quality of education in public colleges. These will increase the college's funds, allowing them to improve both the government and the educators. The government will also greatly increase the cost of tuition throughout Westport. Yeah, let's cross that out because that will annoy people. So this is definitely an interesting way to play because obviously if I were to play this the way that I want to play it, I would be letting everyone know that the government is censoring us as much as possible however i want to try and push myself to do something a little bit different with this game and it's interesting to try and work towards these government demands we'll give this to a filter right Ooh, now let's add in some uh, goss movie star crashes car leaves without a scratch 
Renowned movie star Harold Finn suffered an accident yesterday evening by crashing his car into a streetlight. The accident resulted in some dents to the front of the car. The streetlight was knocked down. Mr. Finn was left unscathed by the accident. We'll have... Uh, doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Go on. Julie, write it. Um... Government to censor and ban improper movies or new bill to make sure. Okay, that was not the one I wanted to pull out. I wanted to pull out that one. Romaval Industries moves branch headquarters to Westport, or Romaval Industries keeps their business at arm's length and moves branch headquarters to Westport. Um, we'll keep the first one. Romaval Industries branch company Durrell Cor uh, Corporation rather has announced their intentions to move their headquarters to Westport. Romaval claims the move to be the starting point of the industrial giant's plans of localizing their business to the city. The company further expects us to create a new upswing of jobs in the West Port. So this could be good. So we'll have a... You know what? We'll have fun with that. And... What's the higher scabs? Today it is intention to bring women in the workplace. Owner described this as both with the times and cost effective. I don't understand the scabs thing. Let's change it to local factory hires women workers. A local shell factory announced today its intention to bring women into the workplace. The owner described this as both with the times and cost effective. The announcement came shortly after a massive strike against the company's dangerous working environment. There's always some do right for the job, the owner said to the presses. Oh, granted. Uh, do we really want to? It came shortly after a massive strike against the company's dangerous working environment. So they're just looking for people that will work. So I don't want to give them a positive spin. Okay, you know what? Oh, I want to see. Please, sir. I cannot bring myself to write this article. Okay. Um. Okay, we have man attacks, police officer. One teenager was caught writing rebel messages in walls close to Liberty Square. Police officer witnessed the act and intervened by tackling the teenager. The arrest was interrupted by a passerby who pulled the officer away from the teenager. Both the man and the teenager were arrested when the officer's partner arrived at the scene. Man defends teenager. Police officer presses charges. So if we wanted to piss off the government, it would be that one. Let's give that. Okay, Anne doesn't want to write that either. Okay, Anne, jeez. Um... So we'll do the new bill to make sure cinemas show proper material. The new bill passed today will ensure cinemas only show government approved content. The government will create a new institution responsible for examining movies before public screening. The bill will come into force one month after the public culture bill. She doesn't want to write that either. Jeez, Anne. Do you want to earn a wage this week? Bomb disrupts rally. Or police leads witch hunt after bombing. Uh, we'll go with bomb disrupt rally. Tragedy struck yesterday as a bombing occurred during a political rally in the Western Districts. Casualties are still unconfirmed, but several people were injured. In response, the police have brought in several local political groups for questioning. Despite claims of having alibis, all of the arrestees remain in custody. Okay, Anne. Okay, you know what? Anne, I'm forcing you. Oh, fuck, now I feel bad. We'll send to print. <laughs> Phil. I'm pleased that the government is finally doing something to increase the standard for public colleges. Frank. Yeah, well, they also make it impossible for us commoners to afford it. Phil. Better a decent education for a few than a poor education for everyone. And There's no way we can send our son to college with this new tuition costs. I'd rather have him get a secondary education than none at all. Julie. And just because the tuition fees get higher doesn't mean that the schools are going to get any better. So I enjoy that we have those uh, little moments of hearing our staff talk together. So we now we have 10 weeks until the public culture bill comes into force. Now do we have any post? Uh, or mail rather. We didn't sell as much in Southern Docks I don't think. However we did sell a little bit more all around. Oh we've actually gained plus two of the rebels. So now the loyalist suspicion of us has went up by plus five. Popularity has not increased anywhere. We have mail. Dear editor, as you're probably aware by now, when we were finally able to stop the notorious Northern Herald from spreading their lies to the public, we were also forced to shut down our affiliated marketing agency. 
as it happens. As it so happens, rather, your paper, the Westport Independent, used the same agency. This means that from now on, you'll have to take care of advertising yourselves. Additionally, because of your affiliation with the perpetrators, we'll be keeping a close eye on you for the time being. The Loyalist Party of Westport. Ooh, scary stuff. And we have a propaganda poster here. Education is for the people. An oppressive government's biggest fear is an educated public. Don't let the upper class tyrants control our knowledge. Join your rebellion today. Workers against oppressors, numbers against class. So we have a poster from the rebels here. And most respected editor, I'm contacting you as the agent of renowned movie star Harold Finn. I read one of your articles last week and I noticed an error. Mr. Finn did not leave the crash site in question without a scratch. He is not a superhuman and claiming him to be would be outrageous. In fact, he received a bruise in his left knee. It might not affect his ability to walk, but I'm sure it hurts quite a bit. Thank you for your time. Pauline Grubsnick, Actors and Agents of Westport. Okay, so we get letters from the likes of uh, Star's agents and things like that. Sweet, so I wonder if we actually get letters in from the people at some point. However, this is where I'm going to wrap up this Let's Try of the Westport Independent here. I'm looking forward to playing a little bit more uh, off camera. Again, I'm not sure how long this game is last and the reviews on Steam are mixed. I am enjoying it so far. I will reserve my full opinion until I have actually finished the game. However, this video is, again, Let's Tries are typically first impressions on my channel at least. So, thank you all so much for, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're all having an amazing day and I'll see you all in the next video.